everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. And your girl, Debbie from Dover Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more to the Jamaican cooking journey. And if you're new right on over here, special welcome to the family. Please enjoy. Please make yourself at home. Okay, y'all? Now today's video is about um, a new update that YouTube has and I just tried out something I tried to be a part of it and I had thrown out a question which cake you would like to see me bake next and I had pineapple upside down and I had um, as the other one for one option and the other one was orange cake well I realized that the, um, the, the most the, the, the most of the vote went to the pineapple upside down cake and because you're our family and we rate you so much and you know i do love you we are right on the ball right now with baking this pineapple upside down cake so if you have not yet checked out that new um update where you your subscribers can get involved and you throw out questions and they would ask please go check it out it's on the community it's on the community page camera girl I think it's somewhere there. The poll is there. You check it out. You all know. No bright and brilliant more than me. Check it out, man. And throw in your support. We have another question up right as we speak. So this is our first question. And we are addressing the answer. We're doing today for you pineapple upside down cake from scratch. No pineapple upside down cake. To me, outside of laying the pineapples and the cherries and all of that with that sort of caramelized thing. The, 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 the cake part can be is just a plain cake it's just a plain cake you can my estimation you can get two packs of yellow cake mix you can get tin, a tin of pineapple or two tins of pineapple and so on but i'm doing it from scratch and if you want me to show you the other version because you know these days everybody is about the easier way because life is just too busy sometimes for some people so let us get right into it then at the end of it if you want me to you i'll you will work out that then i can do the other version so today pineapple upside down cake from scratch now this sounds like a hard to bake cake but it's not really family it's not and when you hear i say it's not you know it's not it's not challenging it's that it is the first time before when i was a young person really young even before 20 i saw this cake and i attempted it i thought looking at it I thought it would be really technical but it's not it's just like a walkover i'll show you normally what i like to do i like to use a rectangular and i'm using my casserole i like to use something rectangular that when i arrange the pineapple slices they look proper okay and then when you use something rectangular square you will get it out in the wet as opposed to when you use a round tin okay now the first thing the name of the cake pineapple upside down it simply means that when the cake is inverted you're going oops when the cake is finished you're gonna invert it now i'm baking it while my eggs i almost lost my eggs there family okay no peanut kitchen again hey just said tell me if i pull it up here we are gonna run him out here <laughs> okay so now you need something to invert it on I'll just, I normally just use a cardboard and I'm going to cover it with foil. So you want to get the cardboard and you want to proceed. Let's go cover up our, our, the cardboard. You can buy this one ready made or something like that. But guess what? Two me come from the old school and me want to save a dollar to me have some cardboard home and me have foil paper. I just always do that. Let's cover up our cardboard and return. Okay? Cardboard are covered off with the shine side or the sheen side of the foil off. If you want to cover around here, you can, but we can't afford to waste the foil around me. Eh? Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now, you need to preheat your oven to 175. Most cakes bake at 175. Not all, most. What we're going to do right now, because this cake, something do it so many different ways, it's not fun. I am going to melt inside here i'm using margarine you can go ahead and use water i'm gonna use here i'm gonna melt here like one stick of margarine and probably a little but i'm just gonna melt it in because the oven is on i'll just melt it in the oven okay so let's go melt our margarine and come back
Here is melting. We're gonna need some granulated sugar. And don't, don't, just don't think about the measurements now. I put for you in the description all the um, precise measurements. You don't know me do anything, but I'll leave for you your direct measurements so as to get a perfect cake. I'm gonna um, cream right here some butter and some granulated sugar. Okay, not butter, some margarine and some granulated sugar. So we're going to start on like a low. The low speed is crumbling out the butter. The low speed crumbles out the margarine and the sugar not the butter the margarine and the sugar together we are going to cream the margarine now this crumbs it out now we are going to start creaming on an eye like a medium speed so when we cream and reach the desired texture we will return to show you whilst our butter is melting we will return okay now butter is melted you're going to use some brown sugar this is my method to sprinkle all over keep it over the warm stove i'll tell you how much brown sugar just look at what i'm doing because you all know that when me done you know all who never bake this i go bake it i'll tell you how much sugar so you leave it at that that's the sugar you don't want to be turning it around too much just leave it right at that okay now this is homemade pineapple slices. I did my own pineapple slices because I want them to be uniform. If you can't find them, this is how I do them because they're not, they're not, they're, they are not all perfect. But I want them to be uniform. So what you want to do, I look for, I want 12 slices. Three on this, the, 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 this side and four on the long side. So you want to set them that way. So let us catch the four on the long okay let us put this one here because it seems to be a bit you know just take your time no rush at all let us layer them in a sequence when you layer them like this when the cake is baked it is easy for you to get a wedge out easily now this um mixture here is gonna sit right there in the heat and the sugar will hold the pineapple to the bottom of the container okay now that has happened you're gonna need some cherries so you're gonna drain some cherry i hope we have a dozen guys be i have been eating out these cherries for a long time you're gonna put a cherry look for the bigger one sometimes the, the inside there might be a little and you're gonna each pineapple slot you're gonna fit a cherry inside there okay put fit a cherry in each pineapple slot sometimes it might be a little bigger it doesn't matter so yeah so it's there that's it now that we have fitted the cherries in there it's on top of the stove put the camera coming that is warm so the melted butter and the sugar is there setting the pineapple slices you want to keep it warm on top of the stove whilst we go now to fin to, 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 to fix the cake mixture okay so right over here let us get these out of the way we have been creaming our butter and our sugar and if you're noticing as we go along how easy this thing is let us go now finish cream off our butter and sugar and return to you this is such an easy cake Okay now family, dropping in our eggs one at a time. If two drop in, they're not in a wrap. Down on the low, one at a time. You know, you know, family, you know, you know, family, can I, let me try that. You know, I'm not into this one at a time egg thing. I'm not into it, you know. I've, I've tried, you know what happened, we'll talk about it on another video or something. We're not in it because I don't even know. One at a time, beating after each addition on the low speed. We'll soon return. We have our flour in here. 
that I've pre-sifted and I did it off camera because the, my fan is blowing and I don't want to be all with the flower mist over the camera so we are gonna put in some baking powder do not worry about the amount you all I will tell you what you're supposed to do in the description of the video okay don't worry about any measurements right now and also we're gonna need some salt just, just look at what I'm doing. Just look at the method. You don't worry anything about the measurement. I'll give you the exact measurements. Our eggs have been added to sugar. And it has been added to the sugar and the butter that we creamed. And we are going to proceed to put in our flour. In about three different batches. So, you know the norm. This is a plain cake, cutting and folding. You know it well. You know it well. So, look at this. Camera girl, get right in. You use one hand. Look at this. This is turning. So, you're, you turn, you scrape. You turn, this hand is turning, and the right hand is scraping. If you're left handed, then you know you have to do it vice versa. So, you're cutting and folding scraping cutting and folding okay the mixture the dry mixture must remain on a yellow real yellow and it also must remain pineapple okay i'll show you so let us go get our flour in you know the cutting and the folding that when you're through no lumps okay so we're going to finish that hmm? okay family we're gonna put in our last batch of flour. I hope you see that I'm lump free. I'm gonna continue cutting and folding. Okay. If you slide the flour, you just cut it like this. Don't worry about that. You know, remember we don't put any liquid as yet. So we have our liquid here, which is some pineapple juice. Natural pineapple juice. So at this point, we're gonna add some of our natural, not all at once, please, I'm begging you. Cutting and folding, okay? Also, we have here some yellow almond. This one says almond and rose water, but the one that I normally get, but it, I think you can get it all up there if you search in the West Indian stores. It's really nice. I'm gonna put a little. This is not the concentrate. This is the just the regular ones. I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna put. I'm not gonna put any cinnamon and any mixed spice and nutmeg. None of that. It is pineapple. We want the pineapple flavor to remain. So we're gonna put just that of vanilla. Just a bit. We don't want nothing much, you know. Look here. And at this point, please to put in a little white rum. Not a lot. The heat will diminish the strength of the white rum. I am putting in a little white rum because we use the eggs. Nobody should be making a nice cake like this and when you're eating, you're getting the feedback of the rawness of the eggs. The rum will counteract that. Put in a little rum. If you don't want to, put in a little lime juice. I'm putting in that because I know it will bake all out. Let us go continue. Cut and fold. Right here I have some pineapple pieces and also with a little more pineapple I'm gonna put in some and I'll tell you how I arrived at this some of it in this mixture Let's go finish cut Cut in and fold in return and show you what we all about with this pineapple upside down cake here, eh? Look at us all right here now Our mixture has been properly mixed No lumps Look at the fluffiness of our mixture Look at it this is what you want, our pineapple slices and our cherries. Hello, camera girl said there was a missing cherry. I don't know, but I thought I put in 12, but somebody, I don't know who it is, but we'll find out about that. So she put another one. So now we are going to turn out our mixture into this pineapple base. I want you to get right in, camera girl. I want you to be really careful when you're doing this. Start in the middle. Because it must come right over to cover the pineapple slices. So even it out as you go along. Gently, gently. It will open out by itself. And remember we put in baking powder so it's supposed to come up. Mine is not, my container is not deep. Okay. So let us even it out. Let it get to run out to the corners. 
so we can get to level it up. Gently, let's go do this and return. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, gently with your spatula, you're going to level it out to cover the pineapples. You don't grease this, okay? Because the oil, the belted margarine, okay, will take care of all the sides. You just want to get this all the pineapple covered and get it on a level basis. Your oven is preheated at 175 for approximately 35 to 40 minutes. And don't worry about right here. Let us try to get this off. We're going to go right into our oven now at 175 degrees on the middle rack for 35 to 40 minutes. Gently, gently, and we're going to leave it there. Okay, y'all, gently on the middle rack in that, that direct position. And we're going to go now and gently close our oven. 35, almost going to 40 minutes. We'll return. The, 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 the container is wide. It is shallow. It's not too, it's shallow. And it, so it should be probably before that when we return. Okay, now, family, we are out of the oven. Hello. I'm not going to say it again. Camera girl, is this the right equipment? No. Loud let it be. Is it? No. Okay. Is this the right one? Yeah. Okay. We are gonna test. We can test in this with this, and we can also test by putting your finger down right in camera girl. I hope it, it, the camera focuses. When you lift it, it's, you lift your finger, it springs back. All clean. All clean. You're not going to wear else. From the middle is clean. The middle. From the middle is dead. Everywhere else is dead. Now this cake is going to need a little prayer. Camera girl, could you please to say a prayer for this cake? Because at this point, this is the most technical part of this cake, you all. I know you feel good when you reach this stage of it. Uh-huh. And you want to jump and shout, take a picture, show to your friend, but not yet. We have got to invert this cake. That's why it's called pineapple upside down. You can't leave it too long. You give it probably about a minute. So we're going to shake up this camera girl. I want you to catch every bit of this exercise here. I want them to see this. Okay. Let us pray that everything y'all. I don't want you, Margaret, because she's going to say an empty and strength and daily food prayer. Let us do a little shake. Better shake this little cake. Be careful. Come on, girl. Look like we're ready. Okay, let's do it. Hello? Camera girl says for health and strength and daily upside down cake. We're going to turn it out in the name of upside down pineapple. Let's do it, you all, on YouTube no click off no nothing let's do this this is the most critical part of this game let's do this i hello if art right hold on shoot them shoot them up camera girl let it stay there for a little let everything and give it a slight tap Let's stay there a little whilst we go say another little prayer. Okay? Okay, prayer time over. Can you that prayer never help? Let us see what is happening. We might have a stick, but no problem. I would prefer to have a stick to show you something. This is so hot. Now, this happens sometimes. When this happens, don't panic. You come and you do like this wow be careful just fit them as they come as they came out wow i am so burned if this should happen to you don't panic okay and this happened to me because the lord wanted me to show you this it happens sometimes if this should happen to you don't panic just fit we look like we're here now camera girl mm -hmm. i 
Are we fair, camera girl? Yes. Hello, the people that don't see you shaking your head. Please to say yes to the family. Hello, please and all they do. Please to tell them that we are there. Yes. Okay. So you all, this is the most critical part. Sometimes you get a stick. Sometimes you don't. And this is the reason why I use this container. So if you this should ever happen, and you know sometimes things happen for a for, for a rice purpose. You would you say that if you think that sometimes the Lord does some things for a reason, please to comment. Because this could have it could it could have come out okay, and then you're one stick I don't know what to do. So if this should happen at any time, which it does happen like 85, 80, 85 percent of the time to a best a pastry maker, you just fix it like that. Let us go let this pineapple upside down cake cool y'all. When I return, I will be shearing from left to right to center to back. When we return. Let's do some dishing y'all. And can I say something to you? If you don't hear your name call in this dishing process, that means guess what happened? You know you never subscribe. Or if you subscribe, you never click the notification bell. Let's begin. So now you're gonna need you can just leave this is my spatula because it is so soft you know so you can just use this spatula so let me show you when you make it in this container and you want to serve each piece that you take up it comes out with a piece of pineapple on top of it it looks real uniform let us cut okay it looks real uniform when it comes like that. It's not cool, you know, that's the part. So, let us try another knife. It is really warm, so we have got to wait. This cake is supposed to be properly cooled, y'all. So you would go, oh, I didn't use the right. And you would put it in wedges like these. It's not cool, though. It is not cool, so we don't want to mess around with it when it's properly cooled okay so you would have it and you would cut each wedge that it's properly cooled because it's really moist and soft you have to wait on it so since it's so moist mm, it's beautiful let us not make a mess let us wait until it's cool but let me start calling out the names you have just said you got less forever you got Sassy Sophia, you got Amaru Cooks, you got that, you got that, you got you got Donna Chapman, you got Angela, and if you hear your name, never call. Go back again and see if you want, you're still subscribed. I was just joking, y'all, just trying to be hilarious. So, this is a beautiful cake. It's a lovely cake. It's not cool. When it's properly cool, when you when you when it's properly cooled and you you take a slice out this is how it's supposed to look i'm trying but it's still breaking with the pineapple slice on top of it because the the the, the, the um the cake mixture is what was really really fluffy and nice so this is what you'll have each slice remember at all it's not properly cooled okay so from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to wherever you are it's your vote that has cost me that has led me to do this pineapple upside down cake remember to like remember to share remember to subscribe and when you do subscribe remember to hit that notification bell we want to say thank you so much for your donations that you have been sending in and those of you who would like to donate we'll be, we'll be grateful because it helps that i can do dishes that you have been longing for me to do okay you know in jamaica things are a bit pricey and sometimes it's a little hard to get the dishes that you would like out to you but nevertheless we are trying so your donations would make a world of difference it doesn't matter how small we are grateful thank you once more thank you thank you so much remember to like share subscribe and remember to thumbs up thumbs me up please if you when you do subscribe remember to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time we upload debbie from dongayan bless remember to let your pineapple plate be properly cool before you slice okay y'all